What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name's Jake and in today's video I'll get to show you how to mine Radiant. Now if you've been watching Son of a Tech's video, you know that this coin is currently profitable at the moment, so you better get you a bag while you can. Now if that kind of content is what you want to see, do me a favor, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go get a wallet. Well, where are you gonna get a wallet? You're gonna find this on the GitHub. So under the Radiant Blockchain GitHub, you're going to find the wallet right here. And then this information can be very helpful. I highly recommend that you read through it to understand a few things. And if you're looking to go straight to the download, you're not going to find it at the very bottom of the page. You need to scroll back up. You're going to find it on the right hand side where it says latest. You're going to click on that and then you're going to select the appropriate EXE file for your operating system. Once you download the file, which I have already downloaded, you're going to open it up and you're going to install it. Now, once you get this installed, let me find it for you real quickly. Bear with me. Ah, oh, here it is on the left side. So the first thing it's going to ask you is to pick your server. You can do that manually or you can choose to auto select. Once you choose an option here, it's going to ask you to name the wallet. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as default. And now you're going to select what type of wallet it is, if it's multi-sig and so on. Then you're going to create a new seed phrase. Make sure you write this seed phrase down and keep it in a safe place. Don't keep it on one of your devices connected to the internet. And then you're going to input that seed phrase back in here to confirm it. Now, the very next thing is to create a password now the password of your choosing I highly recommend is long and difficult. Don't choose something simple that's easy to brute force attack. And then once you have created that password and you've entered it in a second time to confirm, I do recommend hitting the show button, which I'm not going to do obviously, uh, but you want to make sure that you've spelled everything correctly and it's as it should be. Now once you get past this step, it is going to open, but what we're looking for is going to be your receive address. Let me move this over. So here's our wallet address. You're going to copy this address here, and we're going to need that for our HiveOS flight sheet. So once we got that, let's pull up Hive. And as you guys can see, everything is currently turned off. Uh, we'll go into our workers and then we're going to add a wallet. Excuse me, we're going to go into our wallet and then add a wallet. And if you type in rad, you will actually find one there for it. And you're going to paste your wallet address there. And then, of course, you're going to want to give that wallet a name. Now, this is Radiant. Uh, actually, I want to add the word desktop in here because it is a desktop wallet. And then we're going to hit create and we're going to jump back into the workers here now you can see I've already done this but we're going to go and take a look at the flight sheet so we're going to select red as our coin which I think is pretty red god that was cheesy then we're going to select our wallet then we're going to select configure in miner and CC miner currently is the only miner I'm aware of. And then you want to make sure and select the correct algorithm. Now this next part tripped me up by default. It was not on the correct fork. You need to make sure and select radiator and then make sure you're on the latest. And here is the pool that I am using. I'm not aware of others. I uh, just got this up and running, but once you have your flight sheet complete, you can launch that flight sheet. And as you can see, 
we are currently mining. I do have my overclocks still currently at pretty much what I had on Caspa. I believe this is a core intensive algorithm. Haven't played with overclocks whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I want to make sure that I stay under about 1100, 1200 watts on this rig because it is plugged into a 110. If you take a look at the hive shell here, you're going to see what the miner screen looks like, which doesn't really give you a whole lot of information and it moves pretty quickly. So yeah, I haven't, haven't messed with CC miner before. It's kind of weird looking to me, but we are hashing away, uh, taking a look at the pool. Uh, if you go over to uh, mining pool stats, you can see all the different pools here. This is the pool that I am currently on, and you're going to see this little error message telling you to make sure that your address begins with a 1. Otherwise, it may not be correct, and you may not be receiving any of your payouts. So back to HiveOS here. And yeah, we can confirm our address starts with a 1. We go back here, and then you can enter in your wallet. And once you do, it's going to pull up the stats. And as you can see, I just started mining this about 10 minutes ago before making this video. Like I said, wanted to get it out to you as fast as I possibly could. Anyways, so... I don't know what this coin's going to do. I know it's currently profitable. I know it probably won't be after you guys get a hold of it. But if you appreciate this content, do me a favor. Hit that like. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe. With that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I'm out.